John 18.32 Hena, ha logos tu Jesu plerothe, hon apen se minon poyo thanato emelen apathnesken. As we go into this verse, I want to remind us that back in John 12, 32 through 33, Jesus said that he would be lifted up from the earth and by that draw all people to himself. And then the author of the gospel tells us he is indicating the method by which he would die. That is by crucifixion. He will be lifted up. And right before this, in John 18, 31, we read that the Jewish officials uh, refused Pilate's offer to judge them judge Jesus by their law. Take him back and judge him by your law. They said, we don't have the right to kill uh, someone. And so here the Pilate then will ultimately, uh, under his authority, Jesus will be crucified. So we pick up here with this henna, but there's an ellipsis. Is now this came about, this, uh, this happened, that is the Jews uh, rejected Pilate's offer to judge him according to their law because they didn't have the right to capital punishment. This happened so that... Uh, uh, we know the subjunctive is coming. There's the verb right there. As soon as we see a theta, boom, it's going to be an aorist passive subjunctive. That's a third person singular ending from the verb play rao to fulfill. So third person singular ending to match the third person singular subject. So let's pick up here. So this happens so that the word of Jesus would be fulfilled, which he said indicating right jesus here in 12 32 through 33 was indicating or signifying by what sort of death right giving a date of a banner there by what sort of death he was about to die that amelin i don't know if that threw you off but that's from the verb mellow and maybe you remember maybe you don't that the imperfect forms of mellow will sometimes augment with an epsilon and sometimes they'll augment with an eta so we're not surprised to have an Eta augment there for mellow is just an imperfect, active, indicative, third person singular. He was about. He was about to die. You may wonder, I don't know if you wonder, you may wonder why is this complementary infinitive a present infinitive? You know, you say, well, to die is normally more of a perfective aspect sort of thing. We don't think of it as using imperfective. So why would why would the infinitive here be a present? Well, I want to point you to, on the Daily Dose of Greek website, if you go on there and you go down to Resources, I'm clicking here under Resources, Get get Equipped, and then you go down further, click down here to these free resources, this Greek Tense Form Choice by Ba. If you click on that, have it open here, it has some wonderful appendix, appendices, and you can see here that Mellow is followed by a present infinitive 84 times in the New Testament, followed by an aorist infinitive only seven times. So there's a very strong preference after the verb mellow to take a present infinitive. And thus, we have that uh, e exhibited here in this verse.